What's up and welcome to Kitchen 56. Today's edition is out of the blue, the disorganized table edition of the video, and that's because in this video today I've decided we are going to make ourselves a steering wheel for gaming. Let's go. Lockdown has got us properly idle and disorderly at home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you attend all the webinars that are there, you get tired of them, then you sit there and start waiting for food like manna from heaven, then the honorable Nabanja is sending but not sending her money. Man, let's just say being Ugandan right now is hard paper. Anyway, in today's video I am trying to make myself a steering wheel, you know, a gaming steering wheel, because once in a while I like racing games. Um, okay, not necessarily only racing games. I do like, um, what's it called? Euro Truck Simulator. I like driving the trucks. Good pastimes. These are not even allowed on the road. Might as well drive them on the computer, huh? But you see, clickety clack. Press left to turn left to press right. Doesn't really do it. You need something, you know, to feel like you're driving. Man, they just us from the road. We have to drive somehow. Anyway, so that's why this whole mess is on the table. Um, now, this is a few things that you need. First of all, something to mimic the steering. I have a bucket cover. <laughs> oh, DIY forever. So I have a bucket cover. This is going to be my steering. Yeah. Um, that bucket cover is uh, sending a signal down this uh, guy over here. This is now the, the, the steering neck. And then I went and checked through all the scrap that I've ever had. For those that know me, you know I love vintage cars. So this here was a steering box for, uh, I think it was for a Volkswagen Transporter or something. Okay, you don't really need this, but because, hey, I am who I am, I always like complicating things. So I decided to get this steering box. It died, it wouldn't work on the car, but now here it's going to work. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to have this mounted on the floor or on a table. And then as I turn this, as you can see, this here would spin, which would give me what I wanted, as opposed to just, you know, running this through and putting something over there. Now, to detect the signal and send, don't fall, guy. To detect the signal and send the signal to the computer, we need some sort of, you know, something to translate our analog input into what the computer understands. For that, we have a mouse. Not the one Bundi sang about. Not that one. Not that one. This one mouse so this here um like for example for euro truck a simulator i think of an american truck simulator most of these trucking games they do allow you to do steering by mouse but then uh, that would mean you know you're doing this on the table but well, that didn't really work yeah so we stepping it up and notch so that we get to drive a bit so now we have the mouse that's going to do the input and what and then we need uh, a cd yeah so this cd here is what the mouse is basically going to be you know uh, running on something like that you know it runs on that so it detects the movement left and right in order for the cd not to be reflective and you know fail to read signal shall be attaching this paper onto it over there and you know some wood glue and super glue for usual work and here in this case i have a drawer Bye bye office table. <laughs> <Hey>, DIY. <laughs> okay. Someone's got to ask why are you hacking the whole house? Smanya drawers. Why don't you just go and buy one? Have you seen how much these things are on the internet? That, okay. I went to Gigi. Yeah, let, let me just show you Gigi. Yeah. I went to Gigi looking for a, a, you know, a racing steering wheel. The thing is 600k for the cheapest one and second hand. Do you know what 600,000 Uganda shillings can do for you in this lockdown right now? <laughs> I'm rich. Hey. Hi! You see, we are waiting for 50k and it's not coming. <laughs> anyway, so let's get assembling this. So what I'm going to do is get uh, this guy over here. Uh -huh. Got that all bolted in and looking very uh, good right there. You know, as you can see that, that is a not going anywhere. Now we are beginning to, you know, it's getting shaped, it's getting shaped. Now we need to attach our steering to the end of, a, of the column here, so you know it can over, go over there. So what we are going to do is we need some super glue. Let me show you now. Almaz. The f don't even know. No, no wonder they even call it power glue. They don't even call it super glue. Anywho, 
So what you do uh, is we just need a lot of super glue in this middle hole of the cover that's going to go at the top of this guy over here and that is going to give us oh wait a minute I need a pin I need a pin I need a pin and don't pour super glue on my fingers. Ah so we have a uh, super glue I'm just distributing it evenly in you know in that uh, section over there and now we are going to be attaching it so we have super glue on both ends this way and that way so this is just going to be going over here like that and hopefully i hope the super glue is strong enough to you know stick it there and have it there so as that is drying we move on we continue with our build now uh we do need some more super glue because what we need um like i said when you turn up here this here is going to be spinning and rotating so we do need to put our receiving end but before we do that we need to apply paper to it gonna be applying some paper to it because you know we need it to be uh, a surface that a mouse can easily those that have tried using a mouse on a slippery surface you know what happens it just doesn't read your signal so you have to put it something a little bit rough right there so just distribute the wood glue evenly all over the surface of the CD so here is our paper I'm just going to stick that over there nothing really fancy just make sure it goes on you know flat uh, as for the edges we're going to trim those off shortly so now we have something like that all covered in paper now we have to get this here and stick this over here but now the tricky bit is you have to try as much as possible to get it centered as centered as possible so now we got our glue apply generously right so now <laughs> this is why a bit of guesswork comes in you need you need to try and get it as center as possible the closer to center the better for you really now we just have to apply some pressure now we are done with this we have our steering up here when you turn it you see this here also does turn so we are almost there now we need to get the mouse to sit over here and read the signal you see it's just supposed to sit over here something like this yeah just the this point here the the, the, the laser point is all we need for it you know to uh, to get to read uh, the the signal from the rotating uh, disc over here but now the whole thing is we don't really want to go through the process of dismantling it around so I'm just going to try to fashion some kind of box where we can attach this here so that it can just sit over there like that so let's get working and I think we are there now all we have to do is now plug it into the PC and get testing okay so this here is basically what we have ended up having something like this so the whole concept is as simple as this over here being our steering gets you know spun and this spins the cd over there which has the mouse rotating over it i just put the key there to act as a counterweight so that it presses the mouse onto uh this surface here properly and we get a good reading so this gets plugged over here okay that is plugged in as you can see this here is lighting up and now if i go over here to my cursor i think you can see the cursor over there if we spin see it disappear you know it's running a bit fast but i think you can see uh the cursor move up and down over there that means it's picking input from this which is something really amazing that means we are good to go so that is it that is how i made myself a nice uh, diy steering wheel for my gaming thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you like what you see or would like to see more videos make sure you click the subscribe button and notification bell so that you are alerted each time a new video drops on this channel i'm off to do some driving join me if you wish Bye bye